Hershey Park is already one of the greatest amusement parks in the country, but they're evolving into something much bigger. Over the last bunch of years, Hershey Park has been slowly developing itself to become one of the best amusement parks in the world, and I think they are about to unveil the final piece of their master plan. Hershey Park is already a massive theme park, or as OK Coasters might put it, a destination park. They've got their own hotel, lodge, and camping grounds, and there are so many different things to do, you're gonna have to stay more than just a day. You see, Hershey Park isn't any more like your classic Six Flags Park. You can't just make a day trip there to ride the coasters and head back home. You're always gonna have the locals that make day trips out of this park, but it's truly something bigger. You can no longer get the full experience without planning for a nice long trip. The most basic trip is obviously Hershey's two-day package. By staying at any one of their resorts, you unlock a special that allows you to visit the park free for the last two hours of the day, the day before your ticket is for. They also have something called Sweet Start, where you can enter the park a little early and experience a small selection of rides before the park even opens to the public. But that's not it. Hershey Park also got a zoo. In fact, a pretty good zoo called Zoo America, and you can spend some time there too for a decent price. There's also Hershey's Chocolate World, where you get the full Hershey experience as they take you on a behind the scenes tour of how they make their chocolate. Hershey's Chocolate World is free and is a must do experience for anyone visiting Hershey Park. They even have a few bonus activities you can do for an upcharge. Hershey Park itself is already massive, but when you add on top of that the Hershey Museum, their hotels and resorts, Zoo America and Hershey's Chocolate World, it's really a full fun package. Hershey Park has been expanding ever since they've opened and they're getting ready to become the biggest they've ever become. So big in fact they may even be able to beat Cedar Point and some other major parks in attendance really soon. Hershey Park has a history of opening a new coaster every few years, but in the last bunch of years their coasters have been getting bigger and better. Try to imagine Hershey Park without Chocolate Town, Skyrush and Candemonium. You just can't. For the last bunch of years Hershey Park has been making major upgrades to their parks each year and I think they're setting up to make one of the largest investments they've ever made. Hershey Park's most recent coaster opened in 2020 and it came along with a brand new front entrance and the all new Chocolate Town. To say it was a huge success is an understatement. Since Candymonium opened along with the brand new $150 million expansion, Hershey Park has been busier than ever. In 2020, they were the most visited park in the United States besides for the Disney and Universal parks and it looks like their attendance only continued to go up from there. Hershey Park has also been putting more of a focus on the Hershey brand throughout the park and I think they may even be developing themselves into a theme park rather than just an amusement park. Before Candymonium and Chocolate Town came around, the most guests Hershey Park had ever gotten in a single year was in 2019 when they were visited by just under 3.4 million guests. 2021 was definitely their most crowded year yet and I'm willing to bet they crushed their attendance records. After opening Skyrush in 2012, Hershey Park's yearly attendance jumped up by almost 200,000 visitors. I'd be willing to bet Hershey Park's attendance went up more from Candemonium and Chocolate Town than from Skyrush, which is why I think they may have reached 3.6 or 3.7 million visitors in 2021. While we don't have concrete attendance data from 2021 yet, if I am correct in my estimation, Hershey Park would have been one of the most visited parks in the country in 2021 and would be nearing the 4 million visitor mark in attendance for 2022. Hershey Park just unveiled Jolly Rancher Remix with its brand new repaint and let's not forget the Miss Flavor Tunnel they added. Hershey also added the brand new Mixed Ride right next to their re-themed coaster and they now have a mini Jolly Rancher section of the park. Hershey Park also seems to be doing a massive Halloween event this year and they've been teasing Hershey Park in the dark for months now. Hershey Park in the dark is getting darker this September and that's sure to give the park another massive attendance boost. Hershey Park is truly transforming into something bigger, from an amusement park to a destination park, to maybe even a theme park destination park. All eyes are on 2023 now and I think Hershey Park has been planning something huge. 
In the last couple of years, we've seen Hershey Park make small improvements to different areas of the park. Originally, I thought this was to prepare for the old new Chocolate Town and Candymonium, but the improvements continued even after 2020. Lightning Racer got a whole bunch of upgrades including new finish line signs and a brand new system. Comet got Wildcat's old lighting package and Skyrush got a massive power wash, cleaning off all the dirt and mold of the coaster's track. Both Fahrenheit and Storm Runner were repainted and are being prepared to once again run at full capacity. Super Doom Looper's loop was repainted white and Coco Cruiser was repainted to actually look like Coco. Then the park's flume rides got some major upgrades and this year Trailblazer got a brand new brake system. Let's not forget about Sidewinder's upgrade to the new Jolly Rancher remix. Overall, it seems Hershey Park is preparing for something massive. They've done something to every single one of their major attractions besides three. Great Bear, Wildcat, and Wild Mouse. I think our repaint is coming to Great Bear during the next offseason, but Hershey has other plans for the wild coasters. Hershey has had Wild Mouse up for sale for a long time now, and it's clear they don't have any plans to keep it for that much longer. Plus now they have Laugh Track right next to it, which is basically Wild Mouse in a much better. Wildcat is an unbearably rough coaster and something has to be done with that too. That's exactly why I think Hershey Park is getting everything ready for a massive 211 foot RMC Wildcat that will stretch into Wild Mouse's plot of land coming to the park for 2023. Hershey Park is really transforming themselves into something amazing and it's super exciting to see. I think all this is to get ready for their biggest and best coaster ever. The tallest, fastest, steepest, and longest RMC Hyper Hybrid Coaster coming for 2023. Opening a coaster like this would give Hershey Park a true standout coaster as the best coaster in the park and probably also the best in the world. This will make Hershey Park an even bigger destination park by transforming the amusement park into something much bigger. Hershey Park is going crazy and I think the future of this park is the brightest it's ever been. If you want to hear my thoughts on what's going on with Wildcat, you're going to want to watch this video here. I share how I know Hershey Park is teasing an RMC Wildcat and why I think it may even be crazier than you think. Is Hershey Park getting ready to open the first Giga RMC?